。大家好，欢迎您收看美国之音制作的《美国专讯》，我是李华。在美国，越来越多的房屋业者开始使用太阳能，但有人抱怨说，这种趋势等于是把维护全国电网的成本不公平地转移给没有安装太阳能设备的房屋业者。究竟情况是怎么样的呢？下面请看美国之音记者斯维科德在华盛顿的报道。可能绝大多数美国人一样，斯库尔曼的厨房里除了煤气炉，其他设备都要用电。Although the oven's electric, dishwasher's electric, washer's electric. 二零零八年，华盛顿市快乐山社区的五十多家居民集体安装了太阳能设备。You can see about twelve different systems just from this roof. 由于是集体安装，他们的安装费较低。斯库尔曼说，有很多好处。The idea that you can save money and also do create local jobs and do it in a way that's clean for the environment is pretty much appealing across the board, no matter what your politics are, what your background or cultures. 美国正在迅速成为太阳能技术的一个领先国家。根据政府的数据显示，去年美国太阳能的使用量创下历史新高。但是，太阳能发电仍然不到全国发电量的百分之一。燃煤和核能发电等传统方式仍然占据发电主流。So、this is the inverter for my solar system. 这个悬殊的比例也产生了新的摩擦。斯库尔曼把太阳能收集板所产生的多余电量重新卖回电网，这叫做净计量。但是，有部分电力公司已开始针对太阳能客户的净计量征收额外费用。There's a place in, in Alabama, for example, that if you put solar on your roof, it, your, instead of your bill going down by the amount of energy you produce. Your bill actually goes up because the utility has put such a high surcharge. It's like a special solar charge that、uh, you actually lose money if you go solar. 有专家认为，为了能让太阳能用户和非太阳能用户平摊设施维修费用，有必要征收额外费用。大卫·克罗采是保守派智囊机构传统基金会的能源经济学家。It's great for the people, perhaps, with the rooftop solar systems, but the other consumers of electricity have to pay for that price difference. They have to pay for the cost of the grid, of the generating capacity that has to be there for those peak times. 记者斯维科德，华盛顿报道。美国人认为，一九七零年四月阿波罗十三号执行的载人登月任务是一项成功的失败任务。在今年阿波罗十三号四十五周年之际，美国之音记者法拉报在芝加哥采访了阿波罗号的宇航员和美国太空总署的飞行指挥官。下面请看报道的详细内容。美国太空总署宇航员洛威尔·德海斯和斯韦格特在一九七零年四月穿上宇航服。准备执行阿波罗十三号任务的时候，太空旅程甚至是登陆月球已经开始成为一项寻常的活动。但在太空船发射升空后不久，阿波罗十三号的任务却变得不同寻常。一个氧气罐爆炸导致飞船受损，洛威尔也因此被迫放弃他的登月梦想。I was very frustrated when I didn't land and I had to abort the flight. 爆炸之后是痛苦的三天。美国太空总署的工程师在地面展开工作，努力要把阿波罗十三号的宇航员安全送回地球。It was really a, a, a strong case of、uh, good leadership and teamwork.、Uh, in fact, a, you know, a classic case of crisis management. 驾驶一九六九年首次登月的阿波罗十一号的宇航员柯林斯说。阿波罗十三号也敲响了警钟。It made NASA and the American public more aware of some of the hazards involved in flying to the moon and back. 探索月球计划并没有因阿波罗十三号而终止。在一九七二年阿波罗项目结束之前，还有过四次成功登月。格里芬是最后一次登月任务的飞行指挥。I said, you know, I can. We're on a roll in this country. We'll be on the. We'll probably be at Mars in twenty years. That was 1972, in which would have been 1992, and、uh, we didn't make it. So I'm surprised we haven't.、Uh, it's a it's a shame that we just haven't been able to get the national will and and leadership to to make it happen. 芝加哥阿德勒天文馆有一个主题为“月球任务”的新展览。美国太空总署的双子星和阿波罗任务所取得的成就，正在作为这个展览的一部分进行展出。
quite a few of the population just here coming through the Adler Planetarium wasn't around when uh, we actually did our uh, Apollo flights. 这就是为什么洛威尔想要美国太空总署在送宇航员上月球。Once we're comfortable landing on the moon and exploring the moon, uh, then I could think we should go to Mars, and that's of course years and years away. I think. 虽然洛威尔从来没有到达过月球，但他毫无遗憾。I'm now really happy that、uh, the 13 ended up the way it did,、uh, because just think,、uh, if it was the third lunar landing flight.、Uh, Wouldn't have been、uh, all these、uh, celebrations we've had. 记者法拉报，芝加哥报道。感谢您收看美国之音制作的《美国专讯》，我是李一华，我们下次再见。